hello everyone, hope you're having an awesome day today. Welcome to the Film Insight channel. For today's video, we're going to discuss some more contestants that made it to the Black Jackets phase and how they're doing now. So, sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's get right into the content, guys! Melanie Finch One of the youngest cooks of the 12th season, Melanie Finch, had no issues working with the other contestants. There was one exception, however, named Sandra Flores, who she would frequently clash with over mistakes made. That aside, Finch was always a strong chef who consistently managed to bounce back from her shortcomings. On the other hand, despite having very clear skill, she had an underdeveloped palate and wasn't a very effective leader, even though she believed she was. As the competition progressed, Finch started to become a little clumsy, and by the time she was at the black jacket phase, she was really struggling. Sometimes being a bit cocky and arrogant at times, she began to overlook the mistakes she made in the kitchen. Additionally, she frequently made sarcastic comments towards her teammates and other cooks, even lazing out during her punishments. Although the biggest reason that Finch was incapable of making it to the finals was due to her inability to lead. In the end, she did make quite a few friendships with contestants like Joy, Rochelle, Jason, and Gabriel. Though she didn't seem to hold Scott in the highest regard since he lacked consistency and had a little rivalry with Anton. Before leaving, Ramsey admitted that he could see any of the last three contestants in the finals, which is why he let Finch keep her jacket. Fast forward to after her appearance on the show, the talented cook became a sous chef at Local Peasant for a while. Well, that's until she moved on to the Front Yard, which is a restaurant in the Beverly Garland Hotel. To this day, she works at the Ritz-Carlton, Marina Del Rey, and surprisingly creates art as a side job. It's awesome that she's doing well for herself. Save Dancy Described to be one of the most consistent chefs of her season, contestant say Dancy fought her way to the top. Having a very solid start, it shouldn't come to a surprise that she was a strong chef till the very end. Not making a single mistake up until her elimination, many still don't understand why she was booted from the competition during the Black Jackets phase. That aside, she was a self-described sassy woman, had a fiery temper, often ran her mouth, and didn't have the best attitude when she was punished on the blue team. Additionally, she could be pretty bossy and rude at times, which was especially true when Steve was eliminated since they didn't get along very well. This side of Dancy instigated a short little feud with a contestant named Deneen, and one with Callan since she performed very poorly. On a positive note, Dancy was a pretty humorous and kind person towards people like Latasha and Bryant, despite them clashing on occasion. By the end of things, she had developed close bonds with the two chefs and proved herself to be a force to be reckoned with. Again, while it was a very close pick for the finals, Dancy ended up just being the person who was kicked from the competition. Though, she didn't leave without some praise from the great Gordon Ramsay, who expressed that he's never seen such refined skill in a chef her age. What's more, he even expressed wanting to give her opportunities to join the Gordon Ramsay group, which is downright amazing. Although, something didn't work out down the line, since Dancy seemed to have gone on a different path. Following her appearance in the 13th season of the show, she became a personal chef at Chez Sade Catering. There, she offers catering services and meal deliveries, but one odd fact though is that she hasn't been on social media since January of 2019. Dancy last offered a group event to cook a five-course meal for couples during Valentine's Day, but hasn't been heard from since. If you might know her personally, let us know how she's doing. Michelle Tribble Two-time contestant Michelle Tribble first appeared in the 14th season and later returned in the 17th. Fighting her way to the top in both of her attempts, she was one of the most consistent and solid chefs despite the fact that she may have been young and inexperienced. In the first appearance, Tribble's youth and lack of experience caused a lot of chefs to look down on her. This was especially true for people like T, who she had a long-lasting feud with, and occasionally she had issues with Megan. Another problem Tribble had was that she would often try to micromanage things and would talk for absolutely no reason. Regardless of that, she proved herself to be a talented chef who should be taken seriously, ranking 3rd place. For her second run though, she went much further into the battle. Yet again was Tribble an extremely consistent and strong cook. So much so that she excelled in both the challenges and dinner services which led to her eventual win. However, her being an annoyance due to her frequent blabbering and micromanaging was unchanging. Tribble had quite a bit of drama this time around with Barbie and an explosive feud with Elise due to her bully-like nature. On the other hand, she developed friendships with Millie, Dana, Robin, as well as an even closer one with Nick who would stand up to Elise for her. Moving on to after her debut on the show, she went on to compete in Mentor's Young Chef competition 2015. At the time, she also worked at 560 by Wolfgang Puck before returning to Hell's Kitchen for the All Star season two years later. Following her triumphant run the second time, she took up the position of executive chef at the Caesars Palace Hell's Kitchen in Las Vegas. 
contracted $250,000 per year, she was making a lot of money, but she soon learned that this job wasn't for her. In a post on Instagram, Tribble detailed how she decided not to continue working in a health kitchen since she felt abused by customers and it was taking a toll on her mental health. Additionally, she was very concerned about the recent virus, so she decided to go back home and study to become a dietitian. If you're interested, Tribble seems to be posting healthy and mouth-watering recipes up on her Instagram. A quick little note, the talented chef also made a cameo in the 19th season, ordering a dish from the red team. Ashley Nickel Another returning contestant named Ashley Nickel was seen in both the 15th and 17th season for All Stars. In both instances, Nickel was rather calm and collected, having only a few emotional moments but generally kept a clear mind. For the first appearance, she was the sanest contestant in a very toxic red team, which is what pushed her so far. On top of all this, she excelled in both the challenges and dinner services, expressing that she mostly succeeded thanks to the inspiration of her father's own success in the culinary industry. Rarely ever losing her cool in the competition, Nickel was an exceptionally tough player to beat right up until she was eliminated. She went on to develop a close friendship with Kristen and an even closer one with Jared despite the fact that they had a bit of a rough patch. Although, she didn't really seem to get along with Jackie since she was always bragging about things and lacked experience. Making it all the way to the Black Jackets portion of the competition, Nickel was eliminated taking third place. Though before leaving, Ramsey praised her by saying that she was born to cook, should keep her jacket, and that the decision was a tough one. Additionally, he commented that Ashley's a young chef with a very bright future. She earned her place in the final three, and I have no doubt she'll be a great success. As mentioned, she returned to Hell's Kitchen for the 17th season, still of course having the same personality and a strong friendship with Jared. It seemed like this time around, even if she was one of the strongest chefs on her team, she lost some of her passion for cooking. Ranking in the 15th place this time, her elimination had to be one of the oddest, with the reason being that she looked at her watch, which was interpreted as a lack of interest. How bizarre. Following her first appearance, Nicole went on to open a restaurant of her own called Restaurant Ash in Orlando, which received excellent reviews. Before returning for the All-Star season, she worked at Funky Monkey Bistro and Bar with another contestant named Dan from Season 11. Fast forward to after her second run of the show, she started working as a cook at Parkview House in New York, and still does to this day. Heidi Parent For a last quick little entry, we're going to discuss Heidi Parent, a Season 16 contestant who was kind and tried staying away from any drama. Outside of her last performance, Parent was by far the most consistent chef in the show's history. She never gave a single poor performance and excelled in the challenges, which pushed her to the top. Ranking in third place, Ramsey praised her by saying that Heidi's a very talented chef with a bright future. Due to her solid run, the famous chef allowed her to keep her jacket and congratulated her for being such a great contestant. Following her appearance on the show, Parent became a culinary arts teacher at the Capital Area Technical Center. Well, that'll be all for today's video here on the channel. I do hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to drop a massive like down below and comment your thoughts. Subscribe for more content like this and turn on those sweet bell notifications for instant access to our content. Have a good one, guys.